Hey boo, what's up? This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, Raw Vegan Excuses Edition. Excuse number 22, French fries. So I'm coming to you live from my Peloton, and I just want you to know that I do respect you. I respect you and your time, but I need to get this workout in, and I also need to get this podcast in. So thank you for understanding if you hear a little, you know, Huffing and puffing and a little spin background noise. Thank you for understanding. Now, here we go. <clears throat> French fries. Okay, so I think that a lot of people think it's about food. And maybe you haven't succeeded because you haven't been focusing on your mind. You see, you've been focusing on the food. You've been focusing on your body, on the weight loss, on the stomach you don't like, or the, or the thighs, or the arms, but you haven't, I gotta, hold on, I gotta lower the resistance, the resistance, okay, you haven't been focusing on the mind, you see, you think your favorite foods are stopping you from being raw, no, you're stopping you from being raw, your mind is stopping you from being raw. Those foods are delicious, they smell good, they look good, and they'll always be there. But they're going to have no power over you when you finally take control of your mind. And yes, there are some hacks, tips, and tricks. Number one, if you absolutely, if you absolutely need to eat french fries, then you motherfucking eat french fries. Like you are on your fucking, like you are shaking on the floor like a motherfucking crack addict. Then you, guess what you do? You get some potatoes in the store. You cut those bitches up. You understand me? You put them in a boiling pot of water, okay? You let them get soft. You take them out. You dry them off. You put them on a parchment paper in the oven for 20 minutes. I think you flip them over after 20 minutes, 450. You have high carb Hannah can help you with this. Chef AJ can help you with this. You don't need an air fryer. Do it in the oven. Boo, you have fucking french fries right there. Stop making an excuse. That's an excuse. You can find anything healthy as an alternative to an unhealthy craving. You can find it. You can make it. Pizza, french fries, tacos, ice cream, burgers, brownies, chocolate. There's unlimited possibilities to you satisfying your craving, whether you want to be 100% raw or high raw. You understand me? And you know, you don't have to be 100% raw to be 100% healthy, but you have to eat 100% healthy to be 100% healthy. You see, you want the 100% benefits and you want to put in 50% effort, 60% effort. It's not going to work, boo. To get the benefits of being healthy, you have to be healthy 100% or else you're not going to get the full effect, boo. Like, I hate to be that girl, but let me just be that girl for a second. People come up to me and they're like, oh my gosh, what do you do for your skin? Like, do you get peels, collagen? Do you, do you use collagen? Um, I don't know. People are doing all types of crazy things. I use water, boo. I haven't put anything on my, on my fucking skin besides water and coconut oil back in the day when I had dry ass skin. But then I stopped eating dry ass foods. So now my skin is moist, juicy, sweet, delicious. You understand me? You are what you eat. Okay, so people want to know my secret. My secret is a raw food diet. Changed my life, changed my skin. I don't need to use makeup, foundation, powders, moisturizers, skin creams, potions, lotions. Nonsense, nonsense, waste of money. Waste of money. If everybody that had all their eye creams and their neck creams and their lip treatments, if they all put that into organic fruit and vegetables and eliminated the things that were causing the wrinkles, the breakouts, the skin spots. No, it's not the sun. It's your shitty diet. Because if you had a good diet, you'd be able to go out in the sun and your, your skin will be protected naturally. Okay? Yeah. Tomatoes, natural sunscreen, boo. But you got to eat them consistently. Okay? So 
basically, I think the compound is lycopene, and that's found in a lot of fruit and vegetables, but it's very high in tomatoes. I've been eating tomatoes every day for like 13 years. So maybe that's why I don't need sunscreen. I'm living in the hottest place in the United States, South Florida. I've never used sunscreen, not a once. And I don't have any sunspots. I don't get burned. There must be a reason. Maybe it's because I'm eating my species-specific diet. And it's what you don't eat that heals you. So if you want to heal, you have to eliminate what is causing the dis-ease in the body. What are you doing saying, eating, that is causing disease in the body. It's not just food, by the way. If you're staying up all night, if you're stressed out, if you're never moving your body, if you are just, okay, hold on, I gotta, I gotta stop for a second, <laughs> catch my breath. If you're doing all types of bad habits, you're never going outside, you're never meditating, you're never sweating, you're never taking care of yourself other than eating food, then you're eating healthy, delicious food, then you're not going to be healthy. You have to do other things besides eat raw. But like, let's focus on eating raw because that's what this book is about, right? How are you going to give up the unhealthy foods? You're going to change your mind. You got to change your mind. The mind must change first before the body follows. All right, so I have a meditation that I like to prescribe to people, okay? So if you go to YouTube and you type in Misfit Vegan Meditations, hold on, I'm just looking now what it's under. If you go to YouTube and you type in Misfit Vegan, hold on, I'm still looking. <laughs> let me view my, let me, let me find it here. It's not even in my history. That's terrible. Okay. You're going to type in misfit meditation and it's called five minute guided meditation to stay on a healthy vegan diet. Okay. I wrote a healthy diet, but I got to change it to a healthy vegan diet. There's no such thing as a healthy diet unless it's vegan. Just a heads up on that. So I believe you can eat cooked food as a healthy human, but I do not believe you can eat dead animal body parts. Nothing good will ever come from that, ever. Nothing good comes from violence, rape, torture, murder. It's just the law of the universe. There is nothing good that can come out of that, certainly not health and happiness. So I'd recommend you listen to that audio. It's six minutes and 41 seconds, and I would recommend you listen to it all day, every day. And after three days of listening to it all day, every day, including in your sleep, just put it on and have it repeat. I'm telling you, you're going to start to want to eat healthy because the mind is in charge and every cell in your body has ears and there's trillions of cells and they're listening to you saying unconsciously, I need to drink coffee. I need to have French fries right now, later. I need to have donuts. I need to have, I need to have chocolate during my time of the month. I need to this. I can't do that. I should do this, but I'm going to do that because I just can't. I have anxiety. I need energy right now. I, it's an emergency. I'll start tomorrow. We'll do this tomorrow. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Your cells hear you say that. Flip it, boo. Okay, listen to this meditation and flip that shit because it's not going to happen unless you make it happen. You're not going to suddenly not crave French fries. And the, the only reason I say French fries is because that was like my number one, my number one food that I had to give up. Okay. Lucky for me, I loved ice cream as well, but I, um, I can make nice cream and you know, you can make nice cream really, really, really good. So I don't miss ice cream at all, but in the beginning, the French fries was, that was the one. That was the thing that it was just like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to eat French fries again. But I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to have French fries after seven days. So I went raw for seven days. And then after seven days, I felt so good. I felt like I was, aw like I was awake for the first time in my life. So just so you guys know, I've been talking to myself for 10 minutes now. The plug came out of my phone while I was on the bike. I'm going to try to pick, off where I, pick up where I left off, but... I told so many fucking stories. I went down a rabbit hole. But after 30 days, my whole entire life changed and I never looked back. And I made a pact with God, the, the fruit gods. And I said, 
if this raw food diet works, if this raw food diet heals my skin, clears my acne, helps me lose weight, gets me out of depression, gets rid of this severe pain in my stomach all day, every day, if it gets rid of my headaches, my anxiety, then I'm going to stick with it and I'm going to tell everybody about it. And that's what I did. And now I have to up keep my end of the bargain. I have to fulfill my promise because it works. It worked. And I had great jobs. I actually went to school for an audio engineer um, career. I was going to be an audio engineer. And I was working at Sony Records and a place called Avatar, which was formerly known as Sound Station in New York City. And I was working with you know, I was meeting all these amazing people, Paul McCartney, Paul Simon, John Mayer, amongst many others. And um, I was on a path to, to possibly being successful in the music industry. And when I found the raw food diet, I had to quit. Multiple reasons. Number one, it's a very unhealthy environment, the mu- music industry. Okay, it's a lot of late nights, clubs, bars lounges, alcohol, fried foods, restaurants. And even though I was raw working there in 2011, it was very, very difficult because the smell of French fries and pizza and chicken, you know, fried chicken was my shit and um, McDonald's. And I'm sitting there eating a salad and um, I didn't know, you know, how to make amazing dressings back then. So I'm eating a salad with lemon juice you know, and everybody's eating pizza. And I feel stupid because people are living their lives and and indulging in something that's making them feel good and it tastes really good. But the truth is, is that at a rock bottom is the only place that you can change. And I hit a rock bottom. I was thinking about jumping in front of the train on the way to work. So anything was up for game like I was I was up for anything I was up for this raw food diet and maybe you haven't hit a rock bottom that's why you can't stick to the raw food diet maybe you got to hit more of a rock bottom boo I don't know but I know that without the raw food diet I'd probably be dead I know for sure I'd be overweight I know for sure I wouldn't have any confidence self-esteem I know for sure I wouldn't have done anything that I've done so far and I I probably wouldn't be able to do anything I'm going to do like open a fast fruit restaurant open a chain of fruit is life cafes okay I'm not gonna I'm not going to doubt that there is no way I would have the energy to do anything that I'm doing now or that I've done in the last 13 years so that being said I want to say thank you very much for listening The problem is not the food. The problem is your mind. Get control of your mind and convince your mind that you can do this. Affirmations work, but you've got to say them a lot more than you say the negative ones. You see, women have over 90,000 thoughts a day. I hear men only have two. But basically, women have 90,000 thoughts and most of those thoughts are, I can't do this. I'm not good enough. I'm ugly. I'm fat. This doesn't fit. This, that, you know, all these negative fucking thoughts. So what I need you to do is I need you to listen to something positive over and over and over, at least for three days, like all day, every day. And what I really recommend is that you record your own affirmations and put them on a loop and listen to them over and over. I can eat healthy. I am a raw vegan. I can do this. I am willing to exercise 30 minutes a day. I'm willing to get out of my comfort zone and join a gym or or a fitness studio. I'm willing to go for a walk every day. I am, I am worth working hard for. I am worth fighting cravings for. You are worth it. You are worth taking really, really good care of. You are worth fighting the cravings. You are worth sweating every day for. You are worth it, yes. And you don't know it yet. And that's my job, is to convince you that you are worth it and you can do it. And your mind is the problem, not the french fries, not the pizza, not the fried chicken, and it never will be. And when you realize that and when you get control of your mind, you can get control of your cravings, your body, your addictions, and those foods won't even be tempting anymore. 
because they won't be in your bloodstream. Once you get them out, they're not even tempting. Sure, things still smell good to me, but they don't tempt me because I know what that life represents. Eating French fries, eating those fried foods, eating that vegan burger, eating that cooked food, to me, it represents depression. It represents anxiety. It represents insomnia, constipation. It represents acne and being overweight. No, thank you. No, thank you. It's better on this side. Trust me. It is better on the other side. And you can get there. If I can get there, you can get there. I'll see you in the next episode.